In this episode, we're enlisting a new Cobra vehicle into the ranks. So stick around! and dorkettes and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room in this episode we are going to unbox and play with and review the new cobra hiss in the gi joe retro line i am super excited for this because i never had a hiss when i was a kid and i always wanted one so this is the next best thing we're also going to be comparing the figure that came with it the hiss driver with the one that was released with the 25th anniversary line isn't that crazy that it's been 13 years since that figure came out? It just seems like yesterday when I was hunting every store I could find to get my hands on the 25th anniversary figure. And I guess not much has changed because I'm hunting all the time for the new classified line and having no luck. But anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. Yo, Joe! Here we go, the Cobra Hiss. So excited. I have wanted one of these ever since I was a little kid, and now I finally own one at a reasonable price at Walmart, but Santa brought me this one. I just wish I could keep it in the box, because, I mean, to have this original beautiful artwork, but I'm too excited to get it open and set it next to the few vehicles that I do have. As you can see, it comes with the Cobra Hiss driver, also known as a conductor. That's pretty cool. Or Pilado conductor, Cobra Hiss conductor. That would sound awesome. But let's take a look at it. Look at the box. Great, great picture here. I'll probably save this somehow. That's what I do. I end up cutting the boxes down and saving the nice artwork has a back just like the OG with the figure pictured in the vehicle. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Now you just got to deal with the shadow there. File card, which I have to say I'm not that happy with. I mean, it's great that they have it in every language, but what a generic little thing. I mean, the file cards back in the day packed a lot more info than what this offers. Also, 788, so shout out to Hooded Cobra Commander 788. And let's open this guy up. Got my scissors here. Put the box here on the side. Ooh. Man, haven't built a vehicle in so long. Have the instructions. We'll open those up. Let's get out the driver. Okay, let me throw, throw the trash to the side here. Now, let's start with, let's get this stuff out of the way for right now. And let's look, take a look at the driver. He actually looks really good. I mean, I love this chest piece. That's nice. Looks like it's armor. Good posability. This is the first time I'm looking at one of the retro figures. I've kind of held off on getting them because, in my opinion, they are pretty much like the G.I. Joe 25th anniversary figures. And I have enough of them to shake a stick at. So, let's take a look at him compared to the 25th anniversary figure and see if I know what I'm talking about here. So, here they are side by side. Okay, first off, 
they definitely have different helmets. I have to say I like the helmet on the new one a little bit more. But I love the detail on this one. You have collared shirt with great detail. And here it just kind of blends in. Here he has the ab crunch across the armor. This doesn't but still has the ab crunch. So that is a lot better. And I like this color of blue better than this. Other than that, you can see the details. They're about the same weight. This 25th anniversary just seems to have a lot more detail going on for it. Like the belt. This belt's kind of... And his waist is a lot littler. His legs are permanently bow-legged, while these have great mobility. Of course, he comes with a pistol with the holster here. This one does not. He has larger gauntlets when he does not. And there's a couple little paint snafus on here. Actually, these look like they're almost like rivets almost. So that's cool. Give that a pass. Yeah, but I'm just, that's really weird about the legs. Now, like I said, I've not played with any of the other in the retro line. This is my first one. Let's move the camera down here in a second once I get him to stand. which they're the same height. Maybe the retro line's just a hair taller, but not too much. He has a hand where it looks like he should be holding something, so I'm sure it's just a generic hand that they just painted red to fit. But all in all, it has pluses and minuses to it. But I have to give the points to the original 25th anniversary line. Now, I have the original figure. I never had the vehicle, but I bought the figure. And if I would have found him, I would be comparing him as well. But I couldn't find him within all my boxes, which you see in Fistful of Joes. So now that we took a look at the driver here, Let's put together the Hiss. And I guess since we're putting something together, let's do some dorks and crafts. Okay, let me pull this up here. And start with the treads. Oh, they roll real nice. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's take a look at the directions which these look like nice callback to the old blueprints. Warning, choking hazard. Bah! If I choke on a toy, that's the way I want to go out. Just joking. But we have the stickers. And here we go with the blueprints. Not as extravagant as they used to be, but kind of nice. And here we go is the sticker layout. Now that's a great blueprint right there, but not as big, not as grandiose as the original. So, Huh. 
Oh, wheel popped out. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Oh my God, it's falling apart on me. Okay, that took a lot longer than anticipated. I am going to be biased right now and say that that kind of stuff did not happen with the original. Okay, now we have it together. Rolls great. Now it says to put the canopy hood on. There we go. Look at that. Just comes with Cobra Trooper. Twenty fifth anniversary came with code name Cobra Hiss Driver. So point again goes to twenty fifth anniversary. And now for the gun. There we go. Excuse a cat walking by. Okay, we still got pegs on the back, which is nice. See if some OGs will fit in those. I don't think so. They look a lot smaller. Now, let's put the stickers on, shall we? Unless that proves to be a pain in the butt. Let's start with the back. Excuse me, that was just my cat playing with one of the bags. Okay. Here's these again. Let's start with the back. We have... The instrument panel. One of the three Cobra logos it comes with. Okay, here we go. All stickered up. It looks fantastic. Now, anybody out there that has the original and this, how does this compare? I'm really curious. Like I said, it was a toy I never had that I always wanted. So I'm super excited to have this. Let's see how the driver fits in. Fits in very snugly, very good. Very happy with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and back to me. It has been a long journey to finally get a Cobra Hiss into my hands. Now, I could easily just buy one on eBay, but I don't like paying those prices. Walmart has one at an affordable price that is pretty true to the original mold. So, super excited to finally have one, and I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing and review of it. 
If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this episode or any of the ones that YouTube is recommending down below, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So until next time, everybody, thank you, keep being rad, and stay dorky.